is the month of June. June begins from the 4 until the 10th. Zodiac energy is fire. No, zodiac energy. Energy is fire, and the zodiac energy is uh, the hair energy. So, okay. This is a strange week for you guys. Um, you know, we're going to look for support in this week for you guys because fire and hair is not one of the weeks that is going to be um, one of those positive weeks for you, Pisces, because you're a water sign. So let's see what is happening. If you have um, fire in um, your rising sign or um, air, then it will be okay. But if you have none of these, then it's going to be a week where you're going to be looking information coming at you information coming at you um, from the lovers um, positive 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 information a new start and you start in love I, you know this week is a week where a lot of uh, people coming back a lot of exes a lot of exes are coming back there is okay I have messages for um, some people out there a lot of exes are coming back in this week I'm seeing this because this is information that is coming from someone who really cares about you there is information that is coming from someone who really cares about you this could be new twin flame and soulmate coming out a victorious success so this is absolutely brilliant and you have the energy as victorious success over the night the strangest thing is that the obsolete just received that and working together so this is going to be good okay so okay the energy of um, the hangman energy of the hangman energy of the hangman is here for you guys but in the upright position the energy of the hangman is here for you guys but in the upright position okay there are a lot of things going on around you especially when it comes on to your work okay there's a lot of stuff that is going on around you especially when it comes on to your work a lot of people or looking at your work some of you could be changing jobs some of you are beginning new work because this is the beginning of um, the month of June and this is a wonderful month there is a new start for you in an organization this new start is is is, is going to be the perfect match for you information is coming let's look at the people who are married information are coming to the people who are married there is going to be a resolution to whatever situation that is going on so let's say that your marriage wasn't working out and all of a sudden there is a new infuse of energy that is coming in your marriage and this um, situation is going to be resolved and a new start there's a lot of new start is um, people who were separated or coming back together because they realized that um, this is the relationship let me work on this relationship people who have caught cross parts um, like um, you have met someone and there was instantly attraction and then um, it's as if you're going to cross parts again and then this person is going to decide um, to connect with you which is you know so wonderful so um, brilliant if there was um, a situation um, with and this is for the married the people who are married if there was and conflicts the conflicts is going to be over so if you if you are married and there was conflicts um, with you and someone in your relations it's going to be over okay you are going to um, win this conflicts um, by using your intellect and communicating in a positive way okay so um, you were connected with um, someone and um, it is you know because um, soulmate relationships are not the most easiest relationships soulmate or twin flame relationships are not always the most easiest and what is happening here is that whatever the connection is or was whatever 
um, conflict there was in your marriage or um, in your relationship you are going to win this by using communication and um, um, communicating um, what you need and what you want and how you see certain things going forward and this is going to be working out um, some of you who are connected with uh, um, people between the ages of um, 25 to 45 that is an um, Aquarian no that is an Aquarian or a Aries Leo or Sagittarius you are going to be seeing um, there is going to be a resolution for the situation okay so let's say that um, uh, some of you who are married are going to be um, realizing that there was someone that your partner someone else your partner was seen but um, there is going to be a resolution okay it's either um, whatever the situation is there come a resolution for this okay some of you were dealing which it could be um, your son that is an Aries Leo or Sagittarius um, and he was having um, problems in his relationship and that sort of a thing and um, you are going to um, be having um, a perfect resolution okay there is going to be an, an, an resolution for a situation in this week I'm loving this week it's it's a strange week um, where there is no money um, in the sense that the three of Pentacles there is going to be a lot of admiration to your work um, what you're doing but it's not as if it's it's dazzling over with money but the um, the, the um, it's as if your boss or supervisor or that sort of a thing is thinking about giving you a positive new start and this is going to be good for some of you guys because um, they realize that you have the potential to grow and aspire and to 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 make um, moves that um, certain people would not find um, the um, you know how certain people could have you know move forward in their life and this is going to be good there were extra cards that fell out and uh, um, it is the energy of the Empress which is positive um, and this came out for you guys when I was shuffling so I always leave it for the last energy of the Empress comes out when the energy of the Empress comes out that means if you were um, dealing with situation with your materialistic need and that sort of a thing the there comes a message from um, the page of Pentacles and um, heartbreak and it is the wheel of fortune okay um, very strange message that is coming out we are not sure what is happening but we are going to be um, looking to see what does this message really so um, Knight of Pentacles heartbreak heartbreak and the wheel of fortune and the wheel of fortune okay so what messages what is this heartbreak over okay so you have the energy of the knight of pentacles oh there is going to be an ending Ooh, what an ending jealousy and there comes stability okay so now I understand what is happening with this heartbreak this heartbreak there was a lot of there was a loss in the past there was a loss in the past and now there is coming an ending to this situation what you have felt down and out and are broken over there was a loss in the part an art break in the past but now it's going to be ending and it was a karmatic situation a lot of talking a lot of people were talking about it, a lot of jealousy that was there now this is coming to an end okay this is coming to an end it was it was a situation where um, there was a lot of um, situation going on around you there was a lot of hate there was a lot of hate there was um, a loss of materialistic your materialistic world okay there was an unbalance in your materialistic world because 
um, there was um, um, lost of money people have stolen from you from you there was um, people who took from you because um, the positive energies because I I can make it like this way so some of you Pisces um, you know there was there was people who took from you there was a loss there was um, um, unhappiness there was a loss with money there was a loss with people who took from you but as you look at the cards that all surrounds this um, three of arts this heartbreak and this sort of a thing um, they're all positive cards you know there are two or major or connect that is breaking down the loss and heartbreak that you have so this is actually going to be good so um, uh, people will be receiving messages over um, help money materialistic needs which is good so um, by reading the cards um, we're seeing um, help money as coming in um, and this is as if um, what was stolen is being returned to you whatever money that was stolen is being returned to you and um, whatever that was lost this heartbreak uh, that was lost it was because of jealousy a lot of hate jealousy it has now finally come to an end I've been receiving this energy and it's coming up in different different forms different different ways for a lot of signs in this week so there is an ending to the gossip because um, people can gossip whenever these two cards comes up is the end to gossip and jealousy gossip and jealousy okay there's an end to the gossip and jealousy okay so um there was a lot of um gossip and jealousy around you a lot of people were lying and now finally stabil stability comes in your life okay I'm seeing a very um, achievement for some people um, if you're very creative I'm seeing um, some achievement coming in um, for some of you um, a positive um, achievement I'm seeing balance coming in your life and this is going to be wonderful and positive okay I'm loving your layout actually I'm really really loving your layout make peace with my today will improve my future and that is so true that is so true it may sound hard but the fastest way to get um, to a new and improved situation is to make peace with your current situation by making lists of the most positive aspect you can find about your current situation you then release your resist resentment to the improve that are awaiting for you but if you rail against the injustice of your current situation you hold yourself in the vibrational alignment with what do not want our work and you cannot then move in the direction of improvement it defies the law of attraction okay so this is a wonderful message oh my god you Pisces um, I didn't go over the time but you have such a beautiful reading okay there is something else that is coming up is there yes um, information is going to be coming um, to you um, to um, uh, to people who are married um, some of you could be meeting someone um, for the first time and you know you're gonna be realizing that this is the my um, soulmate or twin flame this is happening um, some of you are going to really be dealing with the knight of rods this is someone who is between the age of 25 and um, 45 some of you could end up um, you know working with this person some of you could end up working with this person um, this um, is going to be positive um, wonderful energies are coming in because what is happening here and what is coming up is that the ace of sword is here so um, with your truth and with the intellect everything is pointing up to 
um, the skies for you guys so this means that whatever it is that you want to ask help for it's going to be aligned with um, the universal angels and yourself because you have the page of swords pointing up the ace of swords pointing up and it's as if there is a, um, a protection over you and your soulmate changes are coming in um, positive changes are coming in um, new changes new beginning because you have page of swords eights of swords um, and, and the magician so a lot of new things are coming in whatever lies and jealousy and that sort of a thing um, see there's a lot of new um, stability this is 111 there's new stability um, it's 11 11 also because um, this is also um, going on a new part on a new journey and this so it's 11.11 .11 is happening for you guys the energy of the magician with the ace of uh, swords is always um, very positive um, I want to say to you guys namaste until next time